All right, let's talk about the Benchmade bug out for a few minutes, okay? I'm not gonna go through all the specs. I'm not gonna talk about pricing in this video. I have done full videos on the bug out before on several different variations of the bug out. And I have done a video on the mini bug out. What I don't think I have done is had a mini and a regular full size one in at the same time. But since I do right now, thanks to Gil over at Wild About Sporting Goods, <clears throat> I thought it would be a good time to bring them all together and just really kind of talk about the model and about the size difference between the Mini and the Standard. So let's just get this guy out of the way real quick. This is the red kind of burnt orange version which actually came out of the box pretty broken in. The mini is a bit small for me, but I'm gonna just put it to the side so we have just two. I got the full size, which needs some breaking in, which is normal. That is a Benchmade trait. I don't know that it's a great one, but it is a trait. And then you've got the mini here. This, These two just happen to both have blacked out blades. They're not the same scale material, but you know, they're a very close representation, much different than the orange one here. So we'll put that to the side. If you're into small knives, this might be a good choice for you or a good option. If you put them butt to butt, you can see that the mini is significantly smaller. If we zoom in just a hair and I move these over there, okay. I personally don't really like the bug out model and, and that's a personal preference. You may like it and that's great. There is one model, the Dash 4 with the aluminum starburst scale that I do really want. Don't know why I want, but I loved that particular one. And at this point, I would probably still take one. These are, they've got the grivery handles. I don't like the fact that you can push the scales together. I know it doesn't really mean much. They spring back. The The knife works well. It just feels fairly cheap entry level for me. I have evolved in my collecting. So I think that's also part of it. The mini is very cool and I think could be a really good option for somebody in an office type environment because of the size. You pull this out at the lunchroom, you pull this out to open a box at your desk. I don't think anybody's gonna complain. Nobody's gonna get scared. It's not a really a thing. If you pull out the double homicide from Vandermulen Blade Works, well, then you might have to have a conversation with the HR department. I don't know, but Ain't nobody going to give you no guff about a mini bug out. So I think they all have their places. All of these knives have their places, regardless of small, medium, jumbo size. I think all knives have their place. It's just, what is the place in your collection? As they're both opened up here, and we put them again, but to butt, you can see the difference in size there. So there is a significant difference. Um, I prefer the bug out in general over the mini. Just size wise, the mini feels very cramped and small in my hand. Whereas the full size actually feels okay. It feels a little cheap. It feels a little bit, you know, unimpressive to me. But the size and the grip and things like that, it does work well. These are S30V, both of them. Both have the grivery handles. Even this orange guy here is S30V. That's their standard offering these days. Um, and they work well. They're, I mean, they are fidgety and they have their place. So what do you think about the Benchmade bug out? Would you choose the mini? Would you choose the full size? If you had to. I, I know not everybody is picking Benchmade. Not everybody is picking the bug out model. They have a lot of offerings. 
mostly overpriced in today's world, but we're not talking about price in this video. But uh, I don't know. Let me know your thoughts on the bug out. I figured since I had both sizes here, I would do a quick video coming to comparing them. I'll put a link to my Benchmade playlist up in the corner where I did full videos on all of these already and a whole lot more. So go check that out for details on all of these and have a fantastic day. And let me know your thoughts on Benchmade in general right now down in the comments.